Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Tannenberg, fought between Germany and Russia, located near Allenstein, East Prussia, current day Olsen, Poland, on August 26th to the 30th, 1914. The German 8th Army was commanded by the newly assigned Paul von Hindenburg, Max Hoffmann, and Erich Ludendorff. They had only taken over on August 23rd with very little time to prepare for the upcoming battle. Hindenburg didn't know either of the other commanders, while Ludendorff had known Hoffmann. They had served together and were both neighbors in Berlin. On the opposing side was the 1st and 2nd Armies from Russia under the command of Generals Pavel Karlovich Renenkampf and Alexander Samsonov. These armies were separated and were approaching the Germans under their own directions. The German 8th Army had only recently consolidated their forces in an attempt to stop the Russian armies from meeting up. On August 22nd, Samsonov's forces made initial contact with the Germans all along the front. They did meet with some success against the 8th Army in the first probes. The Russians followed up this advantage with a large push. Believing that his flanks were clear and not having the aircraft or cavalry to perform a good reconnaissance, Samsonov ordered a harder push. He pushed northwest towards the Vistula, leaving only a single corps to continue north. This resulted in the 1st and 2nd Russian armies separated even more from each other, and would prove a deadly error later. On the 26th, as Samsonov's limited cavalry moved forward, they finally detected the Germans building up their defenses. He ordered reinforcements to the left flank, but they would not arrive in time. This gave the Germans time to reinforce their area and prepare for a counterattack. That counterattack happened on August 28th, as the Germans attacked Samsonov's army along a 65-mile front. The German artillery was crushingly overwhelming, and the Germans pushed through faster than anticipated. Even the German resupply trains were not prepared for how quickly the advance went. In addition, the Russians' army had not been resupplied with food, ammunition, and medical supplies. This resulted in the Russians having a hard time slowing the Germans down with the lack of ammunition or well-fed and well-rested troops. On August 29th, the Russian 2nd Army trying to maneuver accidentally ran into the German defensive line and were mowed down as they tried to cross an open field. The remaining Russians underwent continuous artillery barrage and many were forced to surrender. By August 30th, the remaining Russians commanded by Samsonov were unable to escape and were captured or killed. To avoid reporting the loss of his army, General Samsonov killed himself in the woods that evening and was found the following year when the snow melted. He was returned to Russia by the Red Cross in 1915. Although the battle actually took place near Allenstein, Commander Hindenburg named it after Tannenberg. 30 kilometers to the west, in order to, in Germanize, avenge the defeat of the Teutonic Knights 500 years earlier at the Battle of Grunwald, which was always known as the Battle of Tannenberg in German. Total casualties for the Russians were 170,000 men, including approximately 78,000 killed or wounded and 92,000 captured. The Germans suffered a total of 13,873 casualties. This included 1,726 men killed, 7,461 men wounded, and 4,686 men missing. That's it for this week. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War Edition.